Blessed be the name of the Lord. Faithful Jesus, we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you adoration for another privilege of life you have given unto us. We are not better than those ones that have died. We are not better than those ones that are incapacitated, lying sick in hospitals. Father, we appreciate you for your finished work on the cross of Calvary. We appreciate you for the privilege of life you have given to us. Honor him. Open your mouth and just worship God for one minute. If you are under the sound of my voice, it means that you still have breath in your nostrils. It is not because you have done something so special that has warranted that you should be alive at this point in time. It's by the mercies and the grace of God. Hallelujah. Therefore, I just urge you to celebrate him. Just worship him. Hallelujah. Once more, my name is Pastor Bazimba, pastor with Omega Gospel Ministries, Houston, Texas, and I am glad to come your way again today with good news. I bring you good news. Today, briefly, I'll be talking on what I titled The Greatest Miracle. The Greatest Miracle. And I'll be drawing my inspiration from the book of Luke chapter 10 from verse number 18 to 20. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Verse number 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and above all power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Verse number 20. Notwithstanding, in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Hallelujah. The greatest miracle that can happen to a man. What is that? The greatest miracle that can happen to a man. What is that? That's the question that you may probably may be asking at this, point, at this particular point in time. I know many of us that have been moving from one place to another in search of a miracle many of us have been going from place to place from pastor to pastor from prophet to prophet from church to church ministry to ministry in search from for one miracle or the other today i came to produce i came to let you know i came to show you the greatest miracle that egg exists on planet earth and that will ever exist the greatest miracle. I know that we live in a world of trouble. I know we live in a world of pain. I know we live in a world of afflictions. I know we live in an evil world. The Bible makes it very clear in the book of First John chapter number 5, verse number 19, and we know that we are of God and the whole world lies in wickedness. I know we live in a world that lies in wickedness. And there is a tendency that because of the wickedness of this world, we may have been afflicted in one way or the other, and we are believing God, trusting God for the miracle of deliverance, the miracle of healing, the miracle of sal the miracle of breakthroughs, the miracle of financial upliftment, the miracle of whatsoever. Those are miracles. Somebody who is being diagnosed by medical doctors in hospitals and uh, they have been charged or they have been diagnosed with a terminal disease. Let's say, for example, cancer. For example, let's say HIV-8. Now, you have been diagnosed with diseases that are termed terminal. Now, and you are living your life, you know that there is no hope that things are gradually unfolding. Things are gradually folding up. Your life is gradually coming to an end. Now, when, when you receive the mercy of God, either through the instrumentality of prayer or through an act of faith, and you go back to the same hospital and you are you are tested die, and they find that there is no more cancer there is no more hiv aids there's no more virus in you that is a miracle but there is something bigger than that there is a miracle that is bigger than that is the miracle that is bigger than the miracle of healing from cancer there is a miracle that is bigger than the miracle of healing from HIV, from coronavirus. There is a bigger miracle that is bigger than the miracle 
of being delivered from a demonic attack, demonic oppression, whatsoever it is that you call a miracle, whatsoever it is that you fast and pray for, whatsoever it is that you are believing God for, you have been believing God for, and you have seen it manifest in the life of others, and also probably manifested in your life, I came to introduce to you the greatest miracle. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the portion of the scripture wherein I just quoted and cited, Luke chapter 10 from verse 18 to 19, the Bible says that in verse number 21, which is my focus, notwithstanding in this, rejoice not that the Spirit are subject to you, but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Which means that if I want to give us a background, quick background of this story, in, from verse 1, we discover that Jesus Christ sends the 70 out, the 70 of his disciples, 70 of his followers out for evangelism, and they went out preaching the good news in the name of Jesus. And they encountered people that were possessed with demons, with evil spirits, and at the mention of the name Jesus, the spirit cried out, and the people were liberated, and they were freed. So they came back with testimony with good reports, and they were excited, telling their master, in our evangelism today, we encounter people who were oppressed, we encounter people who were sick, and at the mention of your name, the demons flew out. People were liberated, people were set free. People experienced healing, deliverance, freedom, and restoration. Jesus says, yes, that is good. But you should not rejoice because... Your name is written. Nevertheless, you should be aware by now that I have given you power to trample upon serpents and scorpions and above all powers of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. As far as you are concerned, you are untouchable. As far as you are concerned, you have power over the enemy, over the devil and his demons. But what should make you really rejoice is not because you commanded a demonic spirit and it came out of a man. But you should rejoice because your names have been written in heaven. The greatest miracle that can happen to a man is for a man's name to be written in heaven. The greatest miracle that can happen to you and me is for our name to be sure that our names are inscribed, written in heaven. Hallelujah. That is the greatest miracle. Because if your name is not written in heaven, it does not matter. Whether you are healed from cancer or not, you will go to hell. It does not matter whether you are delivered from oppression or not, you will go to hell. If your name is not written in heaven, it does not matter whether you are a president of a nation, whether you are a pastor of a church, whether you are a bishop, a prophet, an apostle, whatsoever title, a doctor, medical doctor, whatsoever title you carry, if your name is not written in heaven, you will, you, you will certainly go to hell if you die at the instance that your name is not written in heaven. So I came to encourage us. Let's seek for the weightier matters. No doubt, Jesus was teaching disciples one time. He said in the book of Luke chapter 6, verse number 33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, and every other, every other thing shall be added unto you. Before you go seeking for the miracle of healing, make sure your name is written in the book of life. That's what Jesus meant. Before you go seeking for the miracle of a new job, of a wonderful job, of a promotion, financial overflow, breakthroughs, make sure your name is written. Because there is no joy in heaven when a man is raised from the dead. There is no joy in heaven when a man is healed from his sickness. There is no joy in heaven when a man is delivered from captivity. There is no joy in heaven when a man is healed from cancer, from HIV, from any disease. You can name it from coronavirus. There is no joy in heaven. Why? Because healing is the children's bread. But there is joy in heaven over a sinner that repents. There is joy in heaven when somebody's name is inscribed in the book of life. You can check that in the book of I think Luke chapter number 15, verse 7. Luke 15, verse 7. There is joy in heaven over one sinner that repents. 
than 99 just people who need no repentance. So if the joy must be a dual joy, if the joy must be on happening on earth and in heaven at the same time, it should be the joy that your name is written in heaven. It should not be the, only be the joy that that miracle, that those documents have been given, the visa has been given. No, 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 no. That the healing has manifested. No, 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 no. The joy should be that your name has been written from in the book of life, written in heaven. That is the greatest miracle. It is going to be an error for people to live, to pass through this earth and access all the kind of miracle, get all the kind of breakthroughs, get all the kind of connection, get their desired jobs. All their prayers have been answered. And at the end of the day, they find themselves in hell. It is an error. The greatest miracle, my beloved, is for your name to be written in heaven. We live in the last moments of the last days. We live in the last hours of the last days. I came today to tilt your mind to be conscious of the return of Christ. Not to be too much focused on the, the material things. Not to be too much focused on miracles, on prophecies. Be focused, be conscious. Be, make sure you are certain in your spirit that your name is written in heaven. Should, should the trumpet sounds at this particular point in time that I am speaking, or at this particular point in time that you are listening to me, are you rapturable? Are you going to be left behind? Or you are going to meet up, meet with Jesus in the cloud? If you are not yet certain, pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I have come to realize that the greatest miracle is for my name to be written in the book of life not the miracle of healing as much as it is good not the miracle of a new job not the miracle of immigration favor not the miracle of a visa not the miracle of financial overflow but the miracle of my name being written in the book of life and my name cannot be written in the book of life if i don't know you father have mercy upon me for i'm a sinner sanctify me with your precious blood cancel my name from the book of death forgive me my sins and write my name in the book of life i accept you into my life as my personal lord and savior from today be my leader be my director may you drive me may you lead me on the path to destiny in jesus mighty name if you pray that prayer the greatest miracle has just happened to you and if the greatest miracle has happened to you, you are open to any other miracle. It, this is the right way. Getting the greatest miracle before seeking the miracle of healing, the miracle of deliverance, the miracle of, of celebration, the miracle of breakthrough. God bless you. God bless you. Jesus is coming soon. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, Please click on the subscribe button and you can also click the notification bell to get instant notification as soon as I upload videos every Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. God bless you. God bless you. Stay strong. Stay safe as you hide under the shadow of the Almighty. According to Psalms, 91 verse number one god bless you see you on thursday shalom peace